So I just got home obviously from work and I just wanted to quickly show you guys what I got. This was on clearance. Uh, we started using one on the um, computer uh, customer service. And guys, this is so nice. I just love it. <laughs> I'm not a gamer or anything, so I didn't I don't really need it. But I just love how it works and I just love the LED lights. So I just I had to pick it up. It was a good price, but just wanted to show you guys what I got because why not? <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like it. I would do like a little review for you guys um, after using it, but I really like it. Okay, so I'm doing a little unboxing for you guys. I already opened up this package. I got two orders from Lululemon. So the first one I got a long sleeve shirt because I like running and right now um, it's still kind of gloomy out so I wanted another long sleeve. I got in this size, I might have to return it both, um, hopefully not because I've never gotten a shirt from Lululemon, I've only gotten like joggers and shorts so I'm hoping this fits, it just looks like this. It's really nice, it's like a nice grey, but yeah it should fit hopefully. I don't see why it wouldn't. So far it's really soft and really breathable. Oh, so in love. So these pants, they are from their new line of recycled materials. So it's sustainable, it's good, it's amazing, love it. And it's $10 cheaper than the normal joggers for guys. So highly recommend if you are looking for joggers for your boyfriend or yourself. Definitely look at the recycled ones because they're $10 cheaper than the brand new ones. So love that. Highly recommend. I'm a bit smaller, like for like height wise. So I got these ones in seam 29 instead of the 32, I believe. That's the normal in inseam size. So hopefully these fit. These are like a gray. Yeah, they pick up. So it's a gray. I have black ones, so if these ones fit, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get um, another pair. These ones are really nice. What I love about the Lululemon joggers are the little pockets in the back for when you're running, which I use primarily. And then these ones have the zipper, which are so nice. And these are just so light. It generally doesn't feel like you're wearing pants, and they're they're really nice. And then. They're kind of tapered at the bottom with um, a leg zipper, but only goes like literally not all the way. So it's really nice. Okay, as you guys can see, um, this is what it looks like on. I definitely can say the medium fits perfectly. A lot, a lot of my other workout shirts, they just look like a dress on me for some reason. But these look, this shirt looks really good. I like it. It's a good length. And I have long arms, so which is why I preferably go with a medium in my workout outfits or just in general because I have longer arms and the medium best works better. The joggers look amazing. Okay, so here's like a better overview of the outfit. It just looks really good. And like I said, these joggers or the end seam is 29. So I definitely highly recommend going to your actual like inseam size because these fit way better than the other two pairs that I have. But yeah, I really like them. So today it's uh, April 29th and I finally got my LCBO offer to go back for the seasonal position. And oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so, so excited. I love the LCBO so much when I worked there in the winter time for the seasonal position. It was hands down my favorite part-time job I've ever had. The environment is incredible. It's just like a nice friendly place and like everyone's so kind and nice and I don't know, I just loved it so much, way better than like my job right now. And there's something about it and I definitely have to say like getting another job and like realizing your worth and knowing that people appreciate it and like your hard efforts and everything, I don't know, it was just like rewarding and nice knowing that another place appreciated me and like loved my work ethics. I mean like yeah I know I was as a cashier but like I made sure to like I guess stand out and everything and like I don't know this is do my best. I'm just really happy that I'm going back to the LCBO um, this summer. It's honestly the best job ever and yeah really happy. <laughs> I've been so anxious and really stressed out the last 
few weeks waiting for this offer. I knew it was, I was more than likely gonna get it, the job again, but it's always like, you know, the back of your head and thinking like, oh, like what if I don't get it? And so you just like think about it and like I hadn't heard back from them in like, I guess over a week over a week and a half actually so I was just really getting anxious and so stressed out and uh, now I can finally breathe and like relax it's <laughs> such a good feeling knowing like a job wants you you know <sighs> so happy that I got this offer like you guys have no idea and I can't wait to bring guys along to the LCBO <laughs> um also quick little shout out happy birthday Katie Hope you have, hope you'd had a wonderful day, and I'm so sorry that you're in another lockdown celebrating, but um, better things are gonna come, and at least it's not your 19th. Also, since I have you guys, I'll show you the backyard right now. Like, the, um, the deck where we're getting redone, what I mentioned in the last vlog. And as you guys can see, this is the extension of the house where we did like a few years ago. Well, what, my parents decided to do a few years ago. So we had the sunroom, and then we have this deck, the middle one, so that was done when this got done. And now we're getting this whole section done, which is so cool, so fun, I love it already. It's gonna go like all the way down to this side, and it's gonna be like a long deck, and like obviously attached to that, that deck, and it's the same wooding as that deck. So it's gonna look so silly, just really pull it all together. So before, like, the duck never went out this far, but now it's going to, so I can't wait to, like, host, like, little parties and, like, dinners or something, like, in this little corner, or, like, even here. Ugh, the possibilities are endless. Okay, so it's Friday, and I had the day off, which is so nice, since I worked last Sunday, so... <laughs> I would off. Um, I'm like kind of anxious and like nervous because I have to talk to my manager and just let him know that I have a better availability. He can like schedule me more and everything. So hopefully that goes well. Then I had to talk to my other manager and like let him know that like I'm probably gonna go down and like just go part time. I don't even know, but I'm just really anxious because <laughs> oh, I'm just so comfortable. Sadly, I hate saying that at Staples. But you know what, it's the truth and that's what you get for being at a place for like eight years and <laughs> getting used to something and then also like dreading it. Um, but this is like besides the point, <laughs> I didn't want to talk about it but it was on my mind. Uh, but I look really good, I would say. I like my outfit. So I wanted to take some photos and get my film developed and, since it's my day off and I know that the film place, they do curbside and I'm supporting a small little business and I don't know, it's safe and everything. Like, it's just me, obviously. <laughs> as much as I would have loved to have a friend to help me take these photos, I'm just gonna use self-timer. And yeah, so I'm just gonna do that. I'm in a little parking spot in Aurora. <laughs> So if you see me, no you didn't. But yeah, I had to go back to the store in like half an hour or like 20 minutes. So I wanted to like try and take some photos and then go talk to him, go get the photos developed and then head home. Okay, so this is my little setup right now. It's so windy out. And then this is where like I'm shooting. I'm shooting with the film and then my phone as well. But right now I'm taking some film photos just to give me some options. Good morning, it's Saturday, it's like 6.20. Um, I arrived at the beaches, I, and I'm just taking some photos for content, obviously, duh. And I caught the sunrise, that's what I wanted. It was this like morning mist kind of vibe and getting it and really liking it. So I just wanted to show you guys the behind the scenes again. Sorry, I'm still kind of waking up. <laughs> uh, so I'm not fully awake, but I just wanted to talk to you guys quickly. Also, there's like surprisingly a lot of people here, which is kind of nice and kind of like, are you up? But also like they could be saying the same thing about me. Like I'm already vlogging. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so my tripod just broke what I used to take my photos on my phone. And I don't know what to do now because I needed it to be a certain height to get like this type of shot. Oh well, um, I guess I'll have to come back. <laughs> That's so annoying considering um, I came here all the way. Like I have this camera obviously, but it's not the same. I'm so mad you guys. So obviously my tripod broke, which is a bummer. And then my film camera, I think it's just too cold and windy that it like froze. So that's not even working, and so I can't even take photos on that, so it's really just you and me and my iPhone. So I'm just going to try to take some photos with my watch and hope for the best. Um, I'm going to see, like, <laughs> this morning is not going so great, but at least it was a beautiful sunrise. I love getting up early and just having a productive day, so at least that's going good. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it for now since I can't do much without the tripod. And I'm kind of cold and I want a coffee and <laughs> so I'm just gonna go. Um, I'm kind of mad. I'm really mad, but I'm trying to not show it. Okay, so sorry, I just been chilling in my bed and like downstairs since I got home around 7.40 after coming from the beaches. So I found out that my film camera, just to update you guys, the battery's dead, which is so weird because usually right here, um, it shows the battery level, and the last time it showed the battery like going down and like flashing and warning me that the battery is gonna die. This time it did not at all, so I had no idea. If I knew the battery was gonna die, I would have never brought this film camera. I would have brought my manual film camera with me. Um, lesson learned. I. <laughs> I don't, I don't even know what the lesson is. Yeah. Happy birthday, Am! Yeah. Another year in quarantine! Yeah. Woo! 22's never looked yeah. so good. Yeah. <laughs> hey! hey. <laughs>